Start of day and every salmon fisher is thinking flies. What's going to work magic today? I'm fishing uh, a hardy angel, uh, 10 and 11. And the line is uh, intermediate. And I'm going to put a 10 foot sink tip, sink tip on it, on the tip. The owner and head chef of the East Hochhaus Hotel in Pitlochry, Neil slips away whenever he can to fish his beloved river. With Spey, Tweed and Royal Dee, the Tay is one of Scotland's great salmon rivers. We're on it in September. Neil recently took on this beat above Perth. Well, this is what we call a steps pool. Just below Dalmarnock Bank. Uh, produces quite a few fish, this pool. It's a good height, it's about a foot on. Come on, dogs, come on. Katie. Yeah, it's a good day for it. Overcast, not too bright. Ah, oh, it's grand to be out. Beats work every day, this does. Okay, got a slight up, upstream wind here. I'm not the best of single spay casters, but we'll have a go. Just all this is just a short line here. Oh, there's a fish. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what weight line is that? Uh, this is a 10-11 uh, line, but right. it's a shooting head. So, big rod. Big line and a big river. And a big fish, I hope. Yeah, go on. But I mean, magnificent views. Okay. Plenty to look at down here. Good company, great location, but unlike the salmon fishing later in September, the only bite we have is what they call round here yeah. we. So a successful day's fishing. Then. Exceptional. <laughs> you must be delighted. If you push it right up to the camera, it'll look about as yeah, it's sort of salmon par, isn't it? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Neil like puts that. it back in the water. Who knows? It may return one day to beat the 64-pound British record fish caught on this very river. It's back to the hotel and a hint of what could be lying in these waters. But Neil has more and darker secrets tucked away in the larder. Well, God shall not count against you time spent fishing. However, Neil's not entirely happy with his catch today, so he's asked us to have a quick look at his freezer. Neil. Yes. What have you got in here? Uh, just a couple of little tiddlers to show you. <laughs> Come on, lift the lid. Good Lord. That. This is one that... That's what a salmon altar look like. That's not from the tail. No, 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 this is from uh, the altar. The Alta, where's that? Uh, Norway. Oh, there we are. Probably one of the best uh, Atlantic salmon rivers in the world. And we'll be having a little fishing trip there recently. Yes, uh, <laughs> I had the pleasure of fishing there this the other week. Oh, that looks fantastic. Wonderful. Now, there's, there's something very well, strange yes, going on at the... <coughs> well, I'm storing these for a, a taxidermist friend of mine, but they're not, they're not from the UK that's at all. Atlantic salmon. <laughs> well, it's Atlantic salmon. That's, that's an alligator. Well, well yeah, or a crocodile. Oh well, struggling here. Also, <laughs> fighting harder. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is revolting. That's no, absolutely that's disgusting. 35, 40 pounds. What can you say about that fish? It's uh, it's ready for smoking, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's quite a kaipi front. So he's a yeah. cockfish, isn't he? Cockfish, got teeth as well. He's, he's Hasn't lost any teeth. Look at the teeth. I mean, that's why we call him a crocodile. That is revolting. He doesn't use Colgate, does he? No, certainly not. No. <laughs> so you'd like to get unload that on the taxidermist as soon as possible. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Now, your silverfish is absolutely beautiful. That's what a fish ought to look like. Let's put that horrible thing away. 